swelling, which is a post auricular uh, dermoid, usually from the mustard, uh, squamous mustard suture it arises. Always compare, that is what I, 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 am, I want to show actually. Any swelling bilateral always compare, if there is a parotid here, opposite side, ear swelling here, opposite ear. Comparison is very, very important when you say if there is swelling in the limb, opposite side, if there is a swelling in the right leg, left leg, like that. Opposite side exam, com, examination is important, it's many conditions may be bilateral. See again, pinch the skin, see for uh, skin fixity, it is not fixed to the skin, very easily pinchable. Check the temperature, check the tenderness, check the uh, edge, check the slip sign. Slip sign is a feature of lipoma and check the mobility, always check in both direction mobility. It is mobile there, see that it is mobile in both direction, freely mobile, it is not attached to the deeper plane, not attached to the bone, uh, into the mustard or whatever it is, can sometimes, or dermoid can go into the deeper plane, but in the mustard region not very deep, it may get added to the bone, but here in this patient it is mobile, see that. Then how to check pages test, see that hold like this and with this finger press it indent and you feel the fluid movement otherwise called as uh, yielding sensation. So in fix the swelling with the two fingers indent over the summit, we can use fix it like that use other finger also, other hand finger also or two fingers thumb and middle finger use and index finger you can uh, indent over the summit and uh, elicit the fluctuation. Otherwise, if you are not finding, if you are finding difficult, then both hands you can use, fix it with this, other hand index finger you can indent and uh, elicit uh, fluctuation. This is how exactly this is being done, see that, fix the swelling, indent over the summit, you will get yielding, you will get this finger getting depressed there, you will get yielding sensation. This is the typical of the uh, wedges test of fluctuation, anywhere small swelling you can do it very nicely, it says that it contains fluid. This is exactly you will do it. So I am okay. So bone margin is important. You have to, you have to always. It's very important, especially in dermoid or in the scalp swelling, whether there is a bone resorption, bone indentation. Dermoids have got tendency to resorb, this cause resorption of the bone. Bone get uh, resorbed or there is some destruction of the bone. So because uh, it is arising, basically arising from the uh, suture line. So, this, uh, this is very, very important clinical diagnosis whereas lipoma and sebaceous cyst will not show any uh, bone resorption, underneath bone resorption. So, this uh, indent over that and feel the uh, indent over the edge, press over the edge and feel for the resorption is very, very important. It is very, very typical thing, uh, a typical feature you look for the dermoid cyst which is not there in sebaceous cyst and lipoma. So, this is what is being looked for all over. So, underneath the bone should be palpated by pushing the swelling aside, it is very, very important. Again skin pinching is there, every all margin, see margin, edge, border all are same for the swelling, unlike in uh, ulcer, margin is different, edge is different, here all, almost all uh, uh, words are used as a uh, uh, synonymous. So, you have to check the consolidation once you check the fluctuation. Just like you can blow the light over that because often it is difficult to, to check the, place the transulinone scope over that because uh, small swelling. Always check the lymph node, preauricular lymph node, we are, we are checking, see that because it is a post region, buccal lymph nodes we are checking and com coming down into the uh, neck lymph nodes afterwards, level, level 1A, 1B, then 2, 3 like that mainly upper, no, upper neck you have to check, if it is this, depending on the situation of this fibromatic swelling you always check and in the neck always compare, when it is again lymph node when you check compare for clarity purpose always both side you have to check. When you check in the neck lymph nodes check one side first then on the opposite side, more, never uh, examine both side together that is also important. So lim remember lymph node examination that drains the drainage area, it is a must, we will come back to the arm swelling one more. In the left arm there is a swelling, this paper is a swelling since the last 8 to 9 months, it could be soft tissue tumour, you have to check the plane, you have to check the mobility, it is again resistance I am checking, see that he is uh, extending again resistance I am suspecting against, see that 
see them holding the muscle and checking, checking the mobility. See that mobility should be checked in the both direction. It is not mobile in the vertical direction if you carefully observe, not that mobile, whereas it is horizontally, transversely mobile. So maybe related to the muscle or if it is maybe related to the nerve. Check after muscle contraction, that is also important. See that? Checking the mobility. Now axillary lymph node examination is very important. See, swelling is in the arm, you have to check the axillary. You can see the swelling very nicely. See that? This is the swelling. So we are checking the axillary lymph node because it drains here. So always you have to check the axillary lymph node. Remember, you have to examine opposite arm, also there may be other swelling. And all over the body you have to examine because it may be neurofibroma, there may be neurofibroma all over the body in different places. After see, after the similar history uh, patient that ask the patient whether such swellings are there elsewhere in the body, that is also important. See that axillary swelling, you have to opposite in anterior, anterior and central group when you check, you have to place your place your hand opposite to shoulder. Checking the all groups of anterior, central, uh, posterior, then of course, apical, neck nodes, all those things are checked. Mainly axillary lymph nodes you have to check. And check on the opposite side, this is important. Just want to demonstrate how to examine the axilla, see that. Put here like this, over the uh, right side is through the left hand, and uh, opposite shoulder should be, opposite hand should be on the opposite shoulder here. See that right right axilla is examined with the left hand of the examiner, and the examiner's opposite hand should be on the opposite shoulder of the patient, and patient should be relaxed. Of course, initially I have demonstrated patient should raise the uh, shoulder above to inspect the uh, axilla, and then your flat of fingers placed over that properly over the axilla to feel the uh, different groups of the uh, axilla, axilla, different lymph node groups for enlargement, of course significant enlargement. See that this is how exactly it is being checked. Posterior group also you have to check. And neck nodes because uh, arm, axilla, neck like that is a chain. Next level, next level like that. So actually for finishing next level of next group of lymph nodes you have to examine anywhere. If it is the limb inguinal and esternalic nodes, if it is in the upper limb, in the lower limb inguinal and esternalic nodes, in the upper limb, axilla and neck nodes like that. So that is what is being done. See that neck nodes are being examined. I am just showing how to examine the neck nodes. One side first and uh, neck should be relaxed like this and then you have to check level level 1A, B, 2, 3, 4 like that. See that posterior group of lymph nodes are examined. And opposite side lymph nodes are examined. Now we have to check the movement of the adjacent to the joint. This is the elbow flexion extension. So you have to compare it to opposite side. That is what I am showing. This is the shoulder joint flexion, shoulder joint extension. Swelling you can see there, swelling in the arm. It is extended. It is abduction, adduction. Abduction, adduction, this is circumduction, shoulder joint movement, circumduction fully. Same thing you have to compare on the opposite side, flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, this is extension, 
now it is circumduction all round movement another swelling is a ganglion common in the wrist it is a ganglion patient in the foot check the warmness check the tenderness feel the margin check the see, the, see this is the vernial caliper see this is the vernial caliper uh, we use other than uh, in earlier video uh, few 10 15 minutes back i have shown measuring tape vertical horizontal now vernial caliper also we can use uh, same way in you know, vertical and horizontal direction to measure so this is what i am showing here see that horizontally placed always mention vertical first then horizontal then feel the surface very important feeling the surface is very important for any nodules see surface looks nodular here skin should be pinched then phages test should be done two two fingers of the two hands you can use for that like what i am doing here earlier earlier of swelling i have shown in the single single hand both direction mobility can you have to check pulsation you have to check because in the foot it is sensation you have to check maybe related to the some leprosy neurological